Our next guest is an actress and Emmy award-winning writer you know from shows such as Great News, The Mindy Project, and 30 Rock. Her new show, Saved by the Bell, is streaming now on Peacock. Let's take a look. If we can't agree at this table, then how are we gonna get the whole school to walk out? Bayside has like a million clicks. Got the artsy kids, the girls who code, the cool Christians, uncool Christians. Mm. Yeah, but there's Douglas kids in all of those groups. And you guys are our friends. Yeah, but being friends with someone doesn't mean you're willing to put your neck out for them. Listen, I can get people at the school to do anything. Did you notice how everyone here calls soda fizzy juice? I made that happen for a reason I don't remember. Okay. Lexi, you and Jamie try to get everyone on board. Devante, Aisha, and I will reach out to local media and convince them to cover the walkout. And as soon as my dad picks up, I'll convince him to come. Your wait time is approximately four billion minutes. Please welcome to the show, Tracy Wigfield. How are you, Tracy? Hi, Seth. I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. I know that you are working on season two of Saved by the Bell right now in a, what is a very packed house. Who do you have living under your roof right now? Yeah, so we, it's my husband and I, and my husband's a comedy writer too. And then we have two kids. I have a daughter who's three and then a daughter who was born just two weeks before everything went into lockdown. So she's about to be one now. And then my parents have been quarantining with us too. So my mom was out here when the baby was born. And so she's been with us for a year. <laughs> and my husband is long. And my, my father, who uh, is an attorney in New Jersey, came out in the summer. So we have just like such a loud house all the time. It's like my children are screaming and I'm in a Zoom room downstairs and my husband's in a Zoom room in the baby's room and my dad's like running a legal practice in, in, in the other kid's room with a bunch of like loud alarms that I don't, I guess like baby boomers, like guys in their sixties just always have a bunch of different phone alarms going off all the time. <laughs> My mom's watching like 90 Day Fiance at Full Blast. It's just like not quiet <laughs> ever. I, I'm always delighted uh, by stories about your mother and uh, she must be spending a lot of time with your kids. Yes, yeah, I know. I, I made a show, Great News, that was on NBC and is on Netflix now about my mom. And I'm always so frustrated because I have stories every day that are so easy that I could just steal. But my, my mom, it's really sweet. My mom and my three-year-old daughter have like a really sweet relationship and they're really close too. But over the course of this year, they've been spending so much time together that my three-year-old, I realized just now has the personality of a 65-year-old like Italian-American woman from New Jersey <laughs> where they, you know, she's like really brassy and confident. And she, the other day, my daughter Celine was like on her iPad or trying to get like Paw Patrol load or whatever. And she was getting frustrated and she goes, oh, <laughs> I was like, what, what did she say? And she was like, <laughs> and, which I guess is good that she's not saying you know, the F word in English, but she's just like Polly Walnuts or something. Uh, I do, I feel like not to like get too far into the like therapist's office, but I feel like by naming your daughter Celine, you tried very hard not to have that happen. Yes, I wanted I wanted a French fancy person, but we've just been pulled back to suburban New Jersey. My my mother and it's really sweet because my daughter like loves hearing my mom's stories. Like my mom is always telling her about like growing up in the 60s in New Jersey and you know, she, my daughter is at that age where she loves to like play things that you know and and, and make us play with her and you know, she'll be like, um, let's play grandma when she was little and I'll be Grammy and you be Tommy Tomasi, the guy who owned the meat store and got <laughs> Grammy's daddy tickets to the fireman's <laughs> carnival. And I'm like, I don't know what this, I don't know who this guy is, what his characteristics <laughs> are, what this story is. That's fantastic. Um, hey, congratulations on this show, uh, which is really wonderful. And, and one of the best elements about it is you are writing uh, in the Saved by the Bell universe, which is something uh, I have heard that you were doing, obviously not for television at the time, when you were 12 years old. Yes, yeah, so I, you know, I've been a fan, like a lot of people my age, I've been a fan of Saved by the Bell my, you know, my whole childhood. It was just one of those shows that for some reason was on in repeats like 24 hours a day on six different channels all the time. So it was just a huge part. And I've heard from other people in doing the show that it was a huge part of their childhood too. But 
you know, my, my best friend Renata and I used to make like funny comedy videos because we loved SNL and stuff. And we wrote like a parody, like Saved by the Bell movie. And when I started, you know, when I pitched this show and started working on it and stuff, Renata sent me the script she still had of it. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so embarrassing. Something I wrote when I was 12. And when I read it, I was like, you know, it's like pretty good. Like it's, it's like 1% <laughs> better than like the, the stuff I write now. <laughs> Have you, but you've actually gotten to uh, work with the original cast. Uh, that must be uh, just a trip. It's, it's thrilling. Like it's, you know, because I, <laughs> I say this and I feel like people think I'm stupid or something, but I like Saved by the Bell really was huge for me. It's like, it was like my Star Wars. <laughs> That's like an embarrassing <laughs> thing to admit, I guess. But it, you know, it's so cool to love something so much when you're a kid and then be able to like pitch a, your own version of it that is very much done in reverence, but also a little bit poking fun at it. And it has created this situation where there's like, you know, the 10 year old inside me is uh, getting, it has too much power and is like a, a child tyrant running the show. Like, you know, I loved, I love Zach and Kelly so much. And like, they showed me what love was, what love is meant to be. And <laughs> I, you know, I was like in situations this year where I'm like producing a scene where I could be like, kiss again, Zach and Kelly. Do it again. <laughs> Kiss, kiss her longer or whatever. And I'm like, what are you doing? Be an adult. Uh, well, I will say, I think it's a show, uh, I know it to be a show that a lot of people care deeply about and it is a, in such a safe pair of hands with you. Uh, congratulations on it. And thanks so much for spending time with us. Thanks so much. This was fun. Season one of Saved by the Bell is streaming now on Peacock.